Hello gamers, I'm Aaron Crow, and welcome to MV Piece, the show where I pick the most valuable pieces out of your favorite board games. Today's game will take us on a beautiful journey to everywhere. So pack your bags and get ready for Wanderlust Overload as we go trekking the world. Trekking the world as players race across the globe to visit its most popular destinations, explore every last corner of the continents, and collect souvenirs along the way. Worldwide shopping spree. But before we set out on our expedition, let's take a tour of the pieces in the box. On your left we have one map board, one bag, 48 destination cards, five trekkers, five suitcase mats, five player aid cards, 12 journey cards, 75 trek cards, 48 souvenir cubes, four most souvenirs tiles, 10 region bonus tokens, 30 victory point tokens, and one score pad. Looks like all the tools we need for adventure. But which will the golden compass point to for the MVP's title? Let's navigate the competition. The Trekkers. Now these easily could have been a traditional meeple, but instead we're treated to the first class upgrade of custom meeples coming in five unique shapes that also break out of the usual primary color scheme. I got a Neapolitan. They're also much larger than your regular meeple, making it easy and fun to move across the map. Speaking of the map board, it's big, it's colorful, it's got cool curved edges, it's clean, effective layout, and clear player reference info is exactly what you want in a game board. But most importantly, just gives you that itch to explore as much as you possibly can. An invitation that simply cannot be ignored. Trek cards come in five categories. Nature, history, sights, wow. water, and adventure. Trek cards are used in several ways. The number or combined numbers get you moving across the map. The colored category icons are collected and then spent to take tours and claim destination cards for points. But only if your trekker is physically at that destination on the map. No, you can't see the Sydney Opera House from South America, dad. Serial cheater, that guy. Finally, discarding trek cards with matching icons allow you to utilize the powerful journey cards. These allow you special actions, such as moving to any location, taking tours for fewer icons, drawing extra trek cards, that's always good, and even swapping locations with another player. And only two of these are randomly selected during the setup of every game. Creating variety and inviting new strategies. RE playability. Destination cards are where the lion's share of the victory points are coming from. Get it, lion's share, lion. Saving up the right Trek cards and venturing to that specific spot while having to spend Trek cards every step of the way? Like actual travel requires diligent planning. But the work is well paid off with each one of these gorgeous oversized destination cards that perfectly capture the beauty and wonder of their locations. On top of that, the back of every card gives you information about that place. Wait, wait, wait. This game is fun and educational, and they said it couldn't be done. If I ever have downtime on my turn, I like to go ahead and read about the upcoming destination while mentally noting its location and plotting my fastest route there. Victory point tokens are, you guessed it, worth victory points. These are most commonly earned by touring the must-see destinations, but can also be collected through some journey cards. Get these! Souvenir cubes are scattered across the globe and awarded to any player that ends their turn on that space. The cube colors represent postcards, call me the mailman, clothing, fashion, figurines, mint in box, and crafts. Check out my Etsy shop, because I'm crafty. Collected souvenirs are safely stored on your suitcase mat, where completing sets of all types can earn you points. And being the leader in a category can earn you the most souvenir tiles, also worth points. Get these two! Taking the last cube in a region also earns you the secret region bonus token, worth anywhere from two to six points. 
Get the and that is the final stop on our globe trotting tour. We've seen some amazing places and pieces today, but one stands out as my most valuable piece. And that piece is the Salar de Uyuni destination card. Now maybe I should have picked the Grand Canyon because I'm an Arizona native, but no, I've already seen it. Most beautiful sunset you'll ever see, 10 out of 10 recommend. But the reason this card is my MVP is actually my favorite part of the game. I learned something and they said it couldn't be done. While not worth as many points as many of the other destination cards, this was the first of several, might I add, that introduced me to a place I had never heard of and was really excited to learn more about. Reading the back of this card led to an immediate Google search for photos and videos of the real place. And I have no doubt that the cards in this game have had that same exact effect on other players. I wanna go there, I wanna go there, I wanna go there. And that curiosity and inspiration to discover is a pretty magical side effect of an already very enjoyable game. That's why the Salar de Uni destination card is my MVP of trekking the world and possibly at the top of my bucket list. But I wanna know what your MVP is. Let me know in those comments. I'll see you next time on the visit its moats she sells seashells visit its moat oh man